Greetings, Keishlings. Keishlings, I'm here with my live reaction of Mashley, Magic and Muscles, Chapter 36. Um, yeah, last chapter was interesting. They were celebrating and everything, not knowing the true threat lies in an imposter and everything, and Dot having, like, the crushed-in face. We got a little backstory with uh, Abel, so we kind of get why he wants to basically just destroy everyone that's not up to his level um so yeah but anyway who is this person here this i feel like we've seen them before but they have like these weird lines but oh no wait is that the mask no was it uh starting today you are my tool come along that act that 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 is the masked magician it's been a while since we saw them so i i guess i forgot their face <clears throat> I'm stupid. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, the title is Mash Bernadette and the Cream Puff Celebration. Okay. And here he is. Um, come along. Uh, Lord Abel. So he, he's getting up now that they've, you know, um, he's been left alone for a bit. So he's obviously, you know, going to try and get around, I guess. They're still celebrating. Dot's face is still smashed in. Big star, big star. They're doing a dance now. How are you choreographing this? Uh, hero, uh, hero you are. Um, the hero? I am. <laughs> okay, um, now they're jumping up, celebrating. Is it alright if I go to the bathroom? <laughs> um, where's the bathroom at? They're just kind of, um, Betty was holding it in all this time. Anyway, guess uh, that's over. This school is a hive of uh, lawlessness. It's the danger that helps uh, love broom, bloom, not broom. Why did I bad my brain? Um, okay, question mark. Yeah, they they don't have a clue why she said that. Uh oh. Oh no, there's the 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 secret agent. Was Lance actually just a lie all along? I, I I would hope not, and that he just took on Lance's visage, and hopefully Lance is just somewhere safe, but you can't really be sure at this moment. So now he's con in contact with them. Huh? Get lost. Oh, and he just kind of like, boom. Also, he's floating. Interesting. He has a wind power something, maybe. I don't know. Um weird floating power magnetic power maybe i don't know anyway so he, he's very intense uh what the hell you hey your face is back to normal dot isn't that lovely you're realizing oh my god he can fly oh well um abel's now just standing there hmm abel you look rather rough did you lose uh oh you couldn't even rise to the top of this school. That's pretty bad, you know. At least you did one thing right. You got as good intel on Headmaster Wahlberg. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, why is he clutching his own throat? Is that... Oh, no. We've got a Force user on our hands. You didn't uh, find the one we're searching for, though. My hands are moving on their own. Oh, he's like a different kind of puppet master than... Which is fine, really, as it turns out. We don't need you. Is every is everyone okay with orange juice and cream puffs? Oh God, they're still. Oh, he he went and got juice as well and cream puffs. Like, good lord, huh? Uh oh. Can't this brat see we're in the middle of something? Is the party over? Yes, Mash. The party's definitely over. <laughs> okay. Um. He's just holding that tray of cream puffs uh oh he's twitching now you've stopped him from having his cream puffs uh what is he doing is he eating them or is he dumping them into his robe what is going oh did you make him do that maybe you did and now the cream puffs have stabbed on the thorn or the crown of thorns that this guy has okay and the other ones are just like oh <laughs> you wasted a cream puff magic is gonna kick your ass um 
I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, we were going to eat those. Could you give them back? Oh, no, he just threw them on the floor. You have caused a travesty for which you may never recover. Insolent boy. This pain in my head. I've also been having some head pain this morning, and it worries me. Um, is it resonance? Then it's here. Oh, so Mash is the boy of weird prophecy, then. But I didn't have this headache before. It came on when he walked in. I'm the Voldemort of this series, apparently. And he is the Harry. Um, no, not him. I mean, it can't be him. Not him. It's him. He's the one we've been searching for. Him? Really? <laughs> Fine. First to finish what I came here for. Killing Abel. Okay, man. Oh no, you, you, you're gonna make him, like, his legs and stuff, he's gonna be, like, pulled apart, isn't he? Can you see how little a match you are for me? Now die. Ooh, that's a nasty-looking, thorny, uh, wand you got there, buddy. Oh, what, what is that? Is that a thorn whip you got going on there? I do see what looks like kind of forming from the wand there. Oh, oh, um, the masked dude has, uh, taken the hit. Okay, um, speeding up blood. Lord Abel, are you alright? Did I make it in time? Um, masked guy. Cut. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mash, I might have, I might have to miss those cream puffs. Oh, no. Mash actually looks, um, kind of shook there for a second. That should have been fatal. Mushroom head threw a rock at the last second, altering the trajectory of my magic. He did that! Okay, so, yay, Mass Dude might survive enough to become an ally of theirs. Oh, what a loyal dog. Seems the trash is rewarding you, uh, for the pick it, or for you picking it up. Okay, um, I find it revolting. Okay, ma oh, well, Maj just stomped down on the ground. Ing. Um, just by stepping on the ground. Okay, he's about to kick some debris. Ooh, that, that had to hurt. Um, right in his face. Um, oh, but he's uh, levitating something. Why are you licking a piece of the floor? I see, someone's got a short fuse. Maybe I'll just kill you too. Aren't you gonna kind of probably kill them all because they're witnesses to a student being killed? A, I, I feel weird that you wouldn't have thought to do that. Um, did you just lick a rock? <laughs> I guess you are at that age anyway. What, what, what? The age of when licking a rock is weird? Because it's always weird. Um... Unless you're Mull from uh, Atlantis, uh, that Disney movie that like apparently did really bad and kind of was one of the killing points of uh, 2D animation for years, but I enjoy it. Um, he can tell you what kind just by the taste of it. Um, I gotta get Mask Guy to a hospital. Try to stop me and I'll beat the stuffing out of you. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, that's setting up an interesting fight. Um. I guess Mash is healed up enough. As long as he gets maybe a cream puff in him, that seems to be his, like... I'm wondering when Mash is ever going to have, like, a stamina issue. Or, like, he gets too wounded and he can't really fight. Because, like, he... He definitely is too much of a Saitama. But I assume as the series gets on, we'll probably have different ways to, like, not make two things too samey and too quick. Because otherwise these fights are going to get uh, maybe a little too trivial in the, the grand scheme of things. But it, the, his fight with Abel kind of showed how the author would change things up a little bit. So I do have hope for it, but we'll just have to wait and see on that. But, um, 
Okay, so uh, Thornhead, as I'm going to call him, I guess for the time being, um, I don't think he actually has a name. It was only the Zero something. What was the organization's name? I can't remember. But um, yeah, Zero something. Um, it, that's not his name, that's the group, so yeah. Um, weird he hasn't said his name, but he's kind of the Voldemort, apparently. And MASH may be whatever he was looking for, which would will be interesting because this could this will most likely tie into the backstory of when MASH was abandoned as a baby. Like maybe that's what the zero Zero Isolation what was it called? Whatever was like chasing his parents or whoever it was that dropped him off. Um at uh Rigro's uh foot or not his doorstep, but like on that same building top. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm wondering if that's going to tie back into it. And it's just going to be like, he's the boy who lived because he had an H-pack. Or something. That'd be hilarious, though. It's like, I, sh I shot him in the stomach. He should have died. And then I go to inspect my supposed wound inflicted upon him. And... I lift up the shirt and he's got the abs of a god. <laughs> this would be hilarious if that was the case. Oh, I wouldn't even care if my like theory doesn't pan out. Like that there's like a magical inverse subspecies of people. And it was like that would just be like the best way to review. <laughs> he's like, I must cure him somehow. And like they've just been trying to track him down all these years, you know, like He's been living in the woods, so it was like kind of its own natural protection. Like, because he doesn't have magic, it's not going to be as obvious unless he goes into town and stuff. And Regro seemed to be doing most of the shopping, it seemed like, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, maybe that's where that's all going to tie in. But why? Why would it be this? Like, what was be the purpose of killing MASH? Unless he has, like, some kind of weird body magic, actually, or he's, like, a magical inverse or something, or maybe he's anti-magic, you know, if you want to go, like, the Black Clover route, maybe, with it. I don't know, but it's something that will develop, I guess, as the series goes on. But, uh, yeah, it's sad that we um, might have lost Mask Guy, though it seems like at least it wasn't fatal. But, I mean, if you can't get him treatment quick enough, yeah. I would say MASH hold off this guy while the others get him and Abel out of there, you know. Because, I mean, Abel's going to die otherwise. He's going to be killed off one way or another if, you know, he's in there. And then, you know, Mask guy, he's, uh, he's kind of horribly wounded, so, yeah. But uh, we'll uh, see how well that goes. Um, so yeah. Anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content. See what you like. Suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, quichelings. I'm just going to assume Baby Mash is the Harry Potter of it all. I don't know what else.